What's going on guys? It is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Factorio. So last episode I went ahead and I cleared the alien base down here and it was quite a mission but I saw these three guys sitting between the tree lines hiding from us trying to... Oh no, it's becoming dark. Oh, this is so much harder in the dark. Uh, but yeah, I think we should be, will be able to take care of them. Ooh, look at that. Uh, dodge. Ah, well, wasn't much of a dodge since I walked in the uh, acid. And let's just wait for our health to regenerate. Uh, if you're not in combat for a while, your health will regenerate. And that is, uh, that's good. It's good. Let's see if we can take care of these guys. Come on. Okay, so it wasn't really night time. <laughs> it just became daytime. Uh, yeah, look at me. And I've s I see like they predict where you're going, so they would shoot in that direction. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, take that and that. Man, I wish I had a <laughs> much better gun or something. Maybe a tank. I know there are tanks in this game. Ooh, this is getting hairy. Oh, he got me. Oof. Okay, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. Oh boy. That was too close. Too close for comfort. These guys don't like me, but I don't like them. Stupid aliens. All I want to do is just plunder your land. I mean, <laughs> it's already happening. I know, I came I came from a planet that is, has done that for like a past 500 years now I don't know <laughs> just saying man just saying I know how to pollute and I want to do it just want to have your resources okay let's see if we can dodge most of their attacks I will just there we go and yep you thought I was going that way hmm not so smart you stupid aliens yeah, now there's only one of you. There we go. Victory is ours. Now I can go ahead and claim my prize. Which is basically the resources in this <laughs> area. Alright, so i uh, just start this. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start this for us. Uh, there's some... Yeah, we need to get some better ammo for the critters, you know. So let's go ahead and get some of this um, stuff over here, the stone, because we need to make a lot of furnaces. Today is the day we're going to mass mine a lot of things. Let's put that stuff in there, and there we go. Let that run for a while. We'll come back when it has its needed resources. So there is an alien group over there, but the pollution is not reaching them just yet. But as soon as we start mining... Yeah, that's going to be, uh, it's going to pr produce a lot more pollution, and we need to be ready for that. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of plates. Uh, okay, I really do have enough of the copper. Did I grab that? Oh, yes, it's uh, <laughs> making bullets for us. I was like, what? what? What's going on? So yeah, just to make sure we got enough coal and resources and things. And let's go over to our production area over here. Or <laughs> power production, I should say. And let's get a extra steam boiler. And some steam engines. Just going to place them down like uh, that and that. And there we go. So you, all you need is some coal. There we go. No, not the wood. Coal. Thanks. Good job. We need to... And bigger our power supply so that we can run a couple of electric drills that will help us uh, mine a little bit better actually so we don't but so that we're not so dependent on um, coal drills the starter drills and I'm just making a couple of inserters and some transport belts mm, yeah, a couple of those and a lot of furnaces will that be enough though because i know a line of yellow transport belts conveyor belts 24 brick furnaces or stone furnace 
can handle a lane of the yeah just checking something real quick yeah so yeah 24 furnaces and i think this area should be good for us to go ahead and start like also smelting down the iron into plates so where are we going to begin this is hard this is hard to start you know it's uh because we don't know a lot about the map and we don't know how because we want to make a bus which is going to be in the next episode uh, okay that's about 20 so we need about four more so yeah next episode we should be able to we're going to check out a bus system but i will explain that a little bit later so i'm just going to run down here and grab some stone so that we can have um, or produce a few more stone furnaces about four more would do i already have a bunch in the queue uh let's see yeah do we want to go for now yeah, you know what just start the research that that's great thanks that's great okay um yeah let's go out and start to get rid of these guys so they are gonna be sort of in the way so we can start plop, plopping down our electric mining drills. There we go. And where are they? Uh, maybe these power poles as well. We will bring them back. And let's see. How are we going to start this? I'm just going to put this on a hotbar. I still can't figure out how to do the thing. You know? swap that out i know there was some sort of tutorial thingy but i completely forgot how to change out the um uh two bar thing is it really can i just like click and replace there there, might, there has to be a, there has to be a shortcut or something i mean come on all I want to do is replace the thing on the thing. But the thing does not let me do the thing. You guys get me, right? So, as you guys can see, the um, the square outline outside of the mining drill. Electric mining drill. It will mine everything underneath it. So, you can place them um, so they can mine everything. Which they want. I'm just checking here quickly uh so that we don't we are mine only iron and not the coal itself but i'm gonna place it like this reason being can i yeah okay so that will work there the reason why i'm placing it like this is because the power lines work brilliantly you can power everything but there is there's other ways as well i just like this setup a lot better you, you, i think you mine quicker that might be the thing Okay, so that is that. We're going to run it down this way. Which should be ample space for us. Okay, and let's go ahead and put that on our toolbar. And where is... Man, I am so blind. Let's see if we can create a couple more stone furnaces. What we need. Oh, we already have a ton on us. Lol. Okay. Doesn't matter. The more the merrier. So we're just gonna start one line of production over here. So we need one, two, three, four. Five that was that right? Uh let's quickly That should be correct. Oh well. Let's go ahead and craft up a couple of more or oh, hand make handmade make by hand more belts because that's what we're going to need and i am going to you're going to um, yeah insert this way i want to check over here yeah that uh should be this way the arrow is where it's going to drop off if i'm not mistaken yeah well if if it turns out i'm wrong we can just um 
hit R on our keyboard and that should uh, rotate it for us into the correct position and then it should be we're gonna take things off the belt into the furnace and we can do the same on the other side as well but I just want to run a line down here first all the way down here there we go good stuff yeah so this is shaping up quite to be a production area like a nice massive amount let's see a shift I'm holding in shift just to see how far up I need to go and would that be enough yeah that's about uh that's that's proper that's some good alignment right there i can't reach there we go yeah so that's how we are going to get the iron to the furnace and produce it into plates for us and that's going to produce a lot of plates a lot of plates good for a beginning so i'm going to split over here for reasons I will explain in a little bit, but we want to run a line this way. Mm, I feel like it's not going to work because that one side, what I'm working on, is going to have coal on it. And I want to see if I can split the coal that can go to the power production so the power can get automatically insert coal in its, you know, on itself. And the other side, the other belt, that's also going to get split off, um, gets coal to the furnace so we can smelt down some iron. All right, that should do. We're just going to use these for now. And that's going to mine out iron ore as well. We don't want iron ore on this uh, belt. We just want coal on this line. Okay, so just a little bit. Let's scooch. I don't want to encroach on that copper though. We want to go around it. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and place down the other side. I think that would do. But yeah, that will that will grab some iron as well. So let's go ahead. Just yeah, it's so hard for me to see. And should probably not be this zoomed in. Okay, just. Dropping a couple of stacks of coal in here, and yeah, we still have enough for in case our power decides to run out. And I just want to see if we can, like, run above the um, and let's just right click here. Arr, out of plates. Why? Where is my plates? Well, we're working on it, man. Just chill, man. Just chill. Okay, so click, hold, drag. Up until there. Good, good. Okay, it's becoming a little bit dark, but uh, during editing, I will try to make this a little bit more clear. You know, lighten it up a little. So we can all see that. Because I know YouTube kind of likes to make videos dark for some stupid reason. Oh, man, I, I hate corners. <laughs> hate doing them corners so we're gonna run this this way and this is gonna come down this way so the one side where the iron is coming from is gonna drop on one half of this belt and the coal is gonna be on the other side as well speaking of coal let's see if we cannot get this uh, hmm will that be too close probably not we're gonna pull back a little on this line over here now just to make it uh, a little bit neater but eventually I know in certain factorial videos I've seen like stuff can get super spaghetti real quickly like super noodle man you know like uh, you boil up some noodles and they just throw on your plate before you eat that's how your conveyor belts will look like eventually so what I'm going to do is just going to place some quick burner drills there and a furnace here and here just to get the iron plates going. Look at that. 
ate up all of my freaking <laughs> uh, coal. But that's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go and see if we cannot uh, make this a little bit better. Mm. Can't reach. Apparently, in the uh, in previous versions of Factorio, the reach was like stupid small. Like it was really small. Now it you can have a but it's a, a much longer reach. Okay, so let's. Hmm. Just trying to figure. This out. I'm a noob, guys. I'm a noob. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I have this. I got this, man. Got this. Do I really want to do this? This way? I'm being lazy today. Alright, there we go. And we can just bring this down and do this. And then just bring this. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go. So iron is going to flow on one side and coal will come down on the other side. So I just want to see if we can get this above and over the copper. The copper field? I think that's what you can call it. A copper field? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's just delete this. It's facing the wrong way. And that. Okay, like that. And that goes over. And let's just do this. I'm just going to bring it... Mm, on top? Yeah. On top. Just like this. Can't reach? Go away. I'll grab this and it's going to give us a little bit of coal, which is nice. And let's just bring this upwards. Like that. Ooh, I'm, I think I'm going to run out of belts here. Yeah, I'm out of belts. I'm out of belts. No matter. While we are waiting, I should be handcrafting some belts while I'm at it. Okay. They are loading in. So that was correct. We were correct with the inserters over there. Just want to see if we can place this properly so everything gets covered. Ooh, this is going to be awkward. Why is it not reaching? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know what we should do? We should let it place it like itself. It... It will try to place it smartly, not like me, not like a monkey. Yeah, there we go. That is a lot better. Mm, where is... There we go. Noise. Okay, so we got that side done. And let's just give a little bit of love, a little bit of college into these guys, these furnaces, and that will start making plates for ourselves. Which would be nice. And, oh yeah. Let's get this research. I'm just going to go down the tree. Whatever is next. And let's go grab that. And that should give us enough to craft a couple of extra belts. Not too much, but not too little as well. We just need the coal to get down here. Okay. Are we going to win this race? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, f no, we're not. we're not. Come on, come on. Let's take forever. This is why we automate things. Okay. And there we go. All right. We got coal coming down this way. And it's going to drop on the other side of this belt. And then these inserters will pick it up and automatically insert it into the furnaces. And those furnaces are going to automatically create some more plates for us. And we've massively improved our production. I think, I think this is going to be good. This is real good. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. And yeah. That's going to dump some of this uh, ore I have on me. Can't reach. No, what am I doing? Damn it. Come on. 
There we go. All right, so let's take that call and shift right click. There we go. Good, good, good. All right, so the call is coming down. It is, oh, it's almost, almost down there, but everything is working. Everything is fine and happy. I'm loving, why did I just do that? I wanted to grab the plates. <laughs> Stupid baboon. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Getting so many plates. Oh, that feels so good. It feels so good. Alright, so, next episode, uh, things might look a little bit different. I'm gonna end up the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Factoria. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. See you guys next time. Bye bye.